everyone this is me bushra khan your language teacher today we are going to learn about english language well this is your english language book you can see here the grammar tree of course this is grammar tree your language book here we are going to learn a new chapter and the first topic is nouns proper and common noun okay there are three nouns but today we are going to learn about proper and common only okay so let's start learning here i have given you two types of noun common and proper noun what is a common noun a name which we give in a general to all person places things the same kind of the same kind first just like boy girl country school and cat these are called common noun okay if i talk about there are common noun means name of everything just like you can see here there's a laptop at your home okay there are many things in your around me they have some name just like uh, there are many things in your kitchen your bedroom table chair these are called common noun okay if i talk about proper noun okay what is proper noun the name which we give to a particular person place or thing you can say just like what is proper noun a proper noun gives special name to a common noun i have underlined for you let's start with other examples just like i'm going to make you understand about that so that's why i'm going to compare both examples that would be very easy for you to understand both of them just like if i talk about example of a boy of common noun boy is very common there are many boys in the world but what is the name of a boy it's very important so here the example of ali ali is a proper name of a boy okay girl there are many girls but here the proper name what is the proper name of a girl this is very necessary to know that's why here sara sara is the name of a girl so this is a proper name country you know very well you all also live in a country and uh, there are many countries in the world but which one is yours of course this is pakistan so pakistan is a proper noun the proper name of a country that's why it is called a proper noun of course okay if i talk about school guys there are many schools in the world but what is your school of course this is the educators okay so name of your school is the educators well if i talk about the last example animal what is that this is animal cat there are many pets at your home of course uh, mostly we have cat as a pet so it is very good to have a name uh, i have written here tom because it's a name of, of course cat so tom is the name of a cat and is a proper noun the proper name of a cat here you can see the both of them okay one thing more which i would like to tell you you can see guys i have written cn what is that it is a short form of common noun cn means a boy is a common noun a girl is a common noun country common noun school is a common noun why do we say that that these are common because there are many boys there are many girls there are many countries in the world there are many schools in your around me and there are many animals and i have written just one here for you and common is cat if i talk about the proper name of a boy is ali girl sara country pakistan school the educators cat is tom here i have written p and it shows proper noun p n sara is a proper noun and pakistan is a proper noun educators of course this is your school and it's a very proper name of your school so that's why i have make it here okay next thing it is very necessary to know how can we how can we know that this is proper and common so one thing which i would like to tell you you can see here that a the first letter of the your proper noun is capital you see here ali a is capital sara s is capital p is capital d educators guys you have seen your copies 
in your school, many, in many places, and uh, your ID card. Whenever you see your school's name, you will see that the educators, the T will be capital and E will also capital. I have a line for you. Okay? And Tom, of course, Tom is the name of your cat, and the proper noun show, it shows that it is proper noun. Of course, the first letter is capital. It shows that these are proper noun. I have written for you. Remember to make capitals, the first letter. Have you got? Let's come to the exercise. I want everybody to hold your pencil and open your book, page number one. We are going to do exercise. Can you see that? Here they have been giving you an exercise, your page number one. I want everybody to hold your pencil and we are going to do exercise. Here you have to mention your date and this is your classwork. Okay, let's start. The first line, Shah Jahan built the Taj Mahal for his wife. Taj Mahal. And here Shah Jahan, actually it's a proper name of a king. So that's why what we will write here, we will write here PN, it's a short form of proper noun. And build the Taj Mahal. Guys, Taj Mahal is a proper name of a place. That's why we will write here PN for his wife. Why? There is no confirmed that what's the wife's name. So that's why it's very common. So we will write here CN and what CN shows? CN shows common noun. Mumtaz Mahal. Here they have been given the proper name of the wife. So we have written here PN. What shows? Proper noun because this is a proper name of his wife. Got? Here. Number three. What's the line? Ali Baba found a cave full of treasure. Here, Ali Baba is a name of a boy. So, it is a proper name. That's why I have written here P N. Proper noun. Found a cave. Cave is a place. So that's why I have written here. There is no name of the cave. That's why I have written here common. There are many caves in the world. That's why I have written here C N. Common noun. Treasure. There is no name of any treasure. That what kind of treasure is here? That's why it is very common. So we will write here C N. Number four. Number four is here. Many visitors come to this city in winter. Many visitors. Visitors. There is no name of visitors. That's why it's common. Come to this city. Is there any name of city? No. What we will write here? Of course, CN. It shows common noun. Winter. Winter is a common noun. Okay? Afridi. Afridi is a great cricketer. It's very famous. Everybody knows. And it is a proper name of a cricketer. So that's why we will write here PN. It shows a proper name, a proper noun. Cricketer is a very common because cricketer, they, it doesn't show that what is the name of a cricketer. So we will write here CN guys. There is number 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I want everybody to do yourself and enjoy your exercise. Okay, let's come to the next. I have given you also some copy work. What you have to do in your copy, I'm going to show you. How you have to do your copy work. You can see here, you have to write. Topic number 1, nouns. Only you have to make your title page just like this. Could you see that? Okay. Topic number one. Topic number one. Noun. And uh, what you have to do? You have to mention your date in your copy. Date and day. Your, this is your, of course, class word. So you have to write down CW here. Here I have been giving you exercise. Sorry, the definition of common noun. You have to write here the definition. You can uh, see in your book also on page number one before your exercise. And there are some examples, book, country, river, dog, city, boy, etc. And the next is proper noun. You can see here the definition of the next, uh, next noun, a proper noun. Okay. And you have to do the example here just like, guys, you have to do your copy work just like this. You can see. This is your today's working. Today is your copy work. Okay, I have mentioned also here exercise A, your book work you have to do. Okay, okay, the next thing which uh, we are going to do. What 
we are going to do the next exercise this is only exercise for you to do you have to do collective noun what is collective noun you can see here the collection which refers to a group or collection of persons animals or things of same kind are called collective nouns you can say that it is a collection and group of same kind of nouns or common nouns so uh, there is an example you can see there is a collection you can see a flight of birds so guys the word flight the word flight it refers that there is a group of birds okay number 1 a swarm of bees the word swarm shows there is a uh, the word swarm shows a group of bees uh you can see here there are many example for you and uh, there is an exercise of collective nouns exercise b they have been given you fill in the blanks with noun chosen from the given list this is your also homework you have to do that here you have to mention your date and there is your homework you it is very necessary to mention both of things ships cows thieves fish keys sheep tools car stairs and clocks here what we have to do here example for you a bunch of keys the word bunch shows and it refers that there is a group of keys okay a flight of stairs the word flight shows a group of stairs okay so you have to do this exercise also i have given you the homework you can see on the board what you have to do at your home you have to you have to do your homework i have written also for you your book work what is your book work page number 1 exercise a and page number 3 exercise b okay and what is your copy work definition of common and proper noun i hope you have got all about this if you want to know more information so you have to check your you have to ask me on whatsapp thank you so much allah hafiz